there welcome back to lima bean living in today's video we are getting it all done over the course of about two to three days i don't really quite remember but we had a lot to do over these couple days and the first thing we did was aubrey and i got to go to the library by ourselves because juan is still on paternity leave and they do a little craft day this day was really fun we had the little like crayola model magic dough or whatever and the theme for this little segment of classes at the library is all animals. So we made some starfish. Aubrey and I showed up early and we were really the only ones. So we got to make like an additional starfish. <laughs> and she just looked so cute. She had so such a blast. Um, she loved adding on these little like sparkly gem things or sequins. And unfortunately... I know maybe some moms can relate. I was really invested in my craft. I made my little starfish just the way I wanted it. And then she dumped a bunch of sequins on it and like, you know, some would say maybe messed it up. Um, but you know, I just let her be creative. Anyways, uh, the crafter in me was like, no, don't mess mine up. But she had a blast and that was the whole point. After we checked out some books and by we, I mean, Aubrey, she kind of does it on her own. We headed on over to Dollar Tree. I picked up some really cute little Halloween finger puppets that look like a fun activity for later on. And then I made sure to pick up some frozen items because we will be doing a frozen party for her fourth birthday. And I am in the process of getting all my ideas ready. And so I'm super excited to do like a party planning video for you guys. But anyways, we went to Dollar Tree and did a little bit of shopping, got Juan some of his, you know, favorite drinks, and we picked up a balloon for a worker at Starbucks that's going to be leaving the store that we normally go to. And then we headed on home and I used our new like mopping vacuum. So if you've been following me like since the beginning, you knew that I had a steam mop um, like vacuum. But apparently with our like vinyl plank floors, you're not supposed to use steam. At least that is what Juan said. Uh, so he researched and he picked this one out. And so far we have been really happy with it. Um, I tried my best to show you how dirty our floor was. You could kind of see the footprints. But I will let you guys see how dirty it gets in just a little bit. Got me dreaming, dreaming in colors I never dreamed. Oh yeah, I let you in deeper than I let anyone else before. Fell in love with my broken pieces, took them all and made them yours. Didn't know what my heart be needed. Skipping out, no, I can't keep score when I lose my breath. Boy, you got me breathing. Oh. Every little thing you do, every time 
So you may have noticed that I go ahead and like go over the same area at least, you know, two times, maybe three. And that's just to, um, at first I pull the little trigger that lets the water or solution kind of out on the floor. And then I go over it again to let the little mop bristles, like really just kind of uh, scrub the floor, do whatever it does and kind of pick up any extra moisture that is still on the floor. And I have to say, like walking on the floors, like they just feel like butter. I, um, I, I really am happy with this product and it's not even one that, you know, I wish they sponsored me, but uh, so far I have no complaints other than we have to clean it out pretty much after every use because it gets disgusting. It's amazing how dirty our floors were even though they didn't really look that dirty, except for that corner. That corner was pretty bad, but it was in well need of a deep clean. Moving on, we are going to prep this little coffee nook planned area for surgery. My uncle and Juan are going to be installing a new outlet um, above the countertop. And so I figured it was finally time to try my best to organize and kind of decorate this area. So we are wiping down about six months worth of dust because I have not touched this area since we moved in and uh, just kind of getting it ready and emptying it all out so that they can do what they need to do to put in this new outlet. So now that that is prepped for surgery, uh, it is the next day we went to church and we are surprising one of the workers at Starbucks with a balloon and some trinkets that Aubrey thought she would like to give to Shelby. Um, and on this morning, we went to church and it was all of us. Normally, Juan doesn't accompany us to daily mass and Aubrey just was acting up. It was really testing me. I you know, cried at one point because I was just so frustrated. And I ran into a lady, I'm not gonna tell every detail of the story, but she just reminded me that you know, when we are trying to get closer to God, the devil is trying to pull us away. And since Juan doesn't always normally come with us, I felt like it was the devil trying to say like, don't go to church as a family. So. If any of you guys experience that at church, I just want to remind you that, you know, that well-needed reminder that that lady told me, the devil doesn't want us to get close to, to God. And um, so I just needed to share that. But anyway, so we went to Starbucks after this not so great day at church. And um, Aubrey is going to surprise the worker, Shelby, who we really love. Um, she's been very kind to us whenever we've been there. And she loved her little present. Moving on, we got back home and started baking. We had some very ripe bananas, so we are making my family's banana bread, which uh, one of my nephews started calling it banani bread because my mom goes by nanny, and it's kind of like her family recipe, so I thought that was really cute. I've shared this recipe tons of times on our channel, so uh, I will you know, link probably some videos that uh, give the recipe in more detail. And while I was, you know, kind of finishing up, uh, Aubrey started to organize my measuring spoons. And I was just like, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She, she is very similar to me when it comes to organization. But after the banana bread went in, um, which I like to make a big loaf when I have just very ripe bananas. If I freeze them, I like to make muffins because the otherwise the loaf of bread gets a little too soggy. But anyways, we moved on and made some apple bread because we had some apples that were probably, you know, ready to be eaten and we just weren't in the mood to eat an apple. So I cut them up and made some apple bread muffins uh, some winter, I think like a win year and a half ago, almost two years ago, I shared just the straight recipe video for these apple muffins. So I will link that video up above if you guys want the recipe. They are delicious. They freeze well and defrost well. They're great. And then uh, in the, you know, while the baking's going on, I'm trying to clean the kitchen and kind of keep it tidy so that it's not a horrendous mess when I am done baking. Still, every time, 
So after enjoying some free entertainment from the nearby donkeys, I got to feeding Jack and myself. I enjoyed an apple bread muffin, but I'm heat feeding him some baby oatmeal mixed with some prune juice. And I think, you know, it's definitely something to note. Like it takes a lot of patience to feed a baby that is relatively new to baby food. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm sitting there forever just getting him to eat this tiny little bowl. But he's just super cute and makes it all worth it. Uh, one little trick that I have in helping him clean up, because he doesn't necessarily like when I wipe his face, I just give him a wet towel, let him chew on it, play with it, suck on it, and eventually most of his face gets clean. And then I just, you know, while he's sucking on it, I wipe a little bit of the dirty areas and then he's good to go. But I just love his little smile. He is just the sweetest little baby. So like I mentioned earlier, when I just have freshly like ripe bananas, I like to make a loaf of bread. If I had used frozen bananas, usually the top of the bread would kind of be a little bit soggy. So I like to make muffins using frozen bananas, but I'm freezing a lot of the banana bread and most of the apple bread muffins because they defrost really well and fairly quickly. So um, this way, you know, I know they won't go bad because our family's somewhat small and I can enjoy them kind of over an extended period of time. But we are gonna move on and just make some dinner. I'm prepping some strawberries and we just kept it really simple this evening. I made, um, I cooked up some sausage and used like some type of pasta sauce, probably like with garlic and herbs or I forget the exact flavor. Um, but this was like one of Juan said, he was like, if you make this forever, I'll be happy. <laughs> like he really loved this. Um, so instead of using like meatballs, I used breakfast sausage and mixed it in with the um, pasta sauce. And it was really, really delicious. So we just served this with the noodles and some Parmesan cheese and had the strawberries. I did freeze uh, in using silicone molds the remaining part of the sauce because otherwise it might go bad sitting in our fridge. 
and it was about half of the jar. So the next time I make this, I can just, you know, plop those little four uh, cupcake sized portions of sauce in the pan, let it cook down and we're good to go and nothing has been wasted. So that's another great reason why I love these silicone molds. They are just good for so many things. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run, don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's going in circles, I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Go to the place where all this began. After doing dishes for like the hundredth time, <laughs> we uh, moved on to the surgery time for our little nook. Uh, my uncle and Juan did a great job at installing a new outlet so that we can have some things up above. And we might use the outlet down in the cupboards for like an ice machine or, you know, a mini fridge later on. Uh, but that, you know, can be in the future. Anyways, I'm putting back pretty much everything that was down there. A lot of this stuff is like for beverages and for like parties. Um, I'm just really trying to use every nook and cranny of our house for, you know, storage. And we use some of our laundry room cabinets because I just have so much kitchen stuff. And so um, right now I'm just throwing the machines, the coffee machines on top, uh, you know, just for the time being. We're going to clear this off and Juan is installing some baskets that I had um, that I mentioned in a previous video. We're finally putting them up and finally using them uh, rather than just letting them lie around our house. You will see me move around like tons of my items. I really, I, I ha didn't have like a very clear vision for how I wanted to decorate the space and how everything would fit. So I'll be moving things around back and forth, back and forth. You'll see how I have it eventually. Um, my dream for this space though is to paint the wall that these um, little baskets are hung on a different color or do some type of wallpaper. But I have to convince Juan that that would be a good idea. Right now, he just wants to keep everything white, which is a little bland in my opinion, but you know, the space looks cute working with what I got. Um, you can see that I'm flipping through, you know, my little coffee decoration thing. I brought a, a craft that I made with flowers and that didn't quite work in that area. I'm, I'm really trying to not spend any extra money since we've had so many, you know, upgrades to the house. And I just really want to work with what I have and be frugal when it comes to um, decorating things and especially things that aren't necessary. You know, making this extra beautiful right now is not a necessary thing. So I'm just trying to work with what I got and, uh, you know, make it as beautiful as possible. So this is kind of where I'm leaving it off uh, right now. We're going to add a couple changes in a little bit, but I would like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me a little coffee mug holder that is really cute. It has like two stems that come up from a wooden block and they like look like little um, leaves or little plants <laughs> and you can hang your coffee mugs on them and it's just a really cute way to display your coffee mugs without using too much counter space. I like that it uses the vertical space and it was pretty easy to assemble. It just came with the wooden block and the two stems. Uh, you just put the stem in like the little crevice uh, that it fits into and then screw it in from the other side and then you go ahead and you can hang your mugs on them. The product holds about six to eight mugs, depending on the sizes, and uh, like I said, I just really like how it utilizes the vertical space and displays your mugs. I just put all of the same, but if you have any like special mugs in your household, you can go ahead and display that. So if this seems like a product that you would like, I will make sure to put the product link down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video and providing me with a great way to to store and display my coffee mugs. 
So moving on, I am updating my little blackboard uh, coffee sign. I didn't like how the angle was um, previously, so I used the back side of one of them so that it was like more parallel to the wall. And threw some, you know, old crafting flowers in a little vase and propped it up against my little sign. I think it actually looks pretty good for um, using what I have instead of going and buying something new. Although I would like just some type of like succulent looking or greenery plant eventually. But since we're entering fall, you know, I think these colors will work out fine. If you are still watching, I would like to thank you for making it to the end of today's Get It All Done video. We tackled a lot over the course of two to three days, and I just really want to thank you for supporting my channel, watching my videos. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up, and check out all of my motherhood content. Subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.